Soyuz 7 space station, July 12, 1984. Cosmonauts Oleg Atkov, Leonid Kazim, and Vladimir Solovyov enter the 156th day of their 237-day stay aboard Russia's Scientific Research Space Station. To date, everything has gone according to plan. But on this day, all three crew members witness an extraordinary event. In 1984, Soviet cosmonauts on board Salyut 7 saw a strange orange glow around the spacecraft. And they saw what they thought at first was maybe a gas leak. But it seemed that the whole station was surrounded by this orange cloud. And as they looked at it, the cloud coalesced into a shape. Suddenly, they are all blinded by this orange light. When they regain their vision, they look out the portals of the spacecraft, and they're astonished by what they see. They describe seeing seven angelic beings that are traveling alongside their spacecraft and did so for 10 minutes. The men described huge winged creatures as much as 80 feet tall that appeared to have glowing halos. Officials dismissed the incident as a group hallucination resulting from oxygen deprivation and pressure fluctuations. Later that summer, three more cosmonauts joined the Salyut 7 crew. All six of them, once again, saw these winged beings. But how could all of these cosmonauts share one hallucination? It seems to me that this was not hallucination, that whatever it was they were witnessing, it was real, it was out there. Now, angels, aliens, I don't know, but uh, when one looks at the recurrence of winged figures in human history, in terms of religion, in terms of culture, mythology, are we looking at something real? Are these angels that we see actually extraterrestrial entities? Might the winged figures seen by the Salyut 7 crew really have been extraterrestrials? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and suggest that similar sightings were secretly reported by many Russian cosmonauts. Soviet cosmonauts had a really interesting and challenging dilemma when it came to truth-telling. Because at the same time that they were the public face of the Soviet space program, there was the always hidden goal of the Soviet space program, which was to prove intercontinental ballistic missile capability. So the cosmonauts were publicly to disguise those parts of the mission that were secret and involved in national security, making it all that much more interesting when we try to assess what they saw when they talk about anomalous things that they supposedly encountered in space. You have to understand that many cosmonauts, even if they witnessed something strange in space, were highly reluctant to openly talk about it because of the concern of being decommissioned for the reason of insanity. Indeed, some of the Soviet and the Russian cosmonauts did have very strange experience in space. 